I will show you two ways to change ounces to milliliters. The first one is dimensional analysis. Write what you have as a fraction. We have 7.5 ounces. Write it over 1 as a fraction and prepare to multiply. You are going to take this conversion factor. 1 ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. And you are going to write it here as a fraction in such a way so your ounces cancel out. We have ounces on top in the numerator. So you will put 1 ounce on the bottom in the denominator and 30 milliliters on top in the numerator. Look here, your ounces cancel out and you are left with milliliters. So this is how you set up your conversion factor. So your original units cancel out and you are left with the desired units. Now multiply. 7.5 times 30 milliliters, you will have 225 milliliters. Over 1 times 1 is 1, so we have 225 milliliters. Very good. The second way to solve is with a proportion. Let's write our ratio. We have 1 ounce over 30 milliliters. So we wrote our ratio as a fraction is equal to, look here, we have ounces on top, milliliters on the bottom. So we will stay consistent. We will put 7.5 ounces on top and X milliliters on the bottom. So we set up a proportion. One ratio is equal to the other ratio and we are consistent. Ounces on top, milliliters on the bottom. To solve this proportion, you cross multiply. 1 times x, 1 times x is equal to 30 times 7.5. So 1 times x is x is equal to 30 times 7.5 is 225 milliliters. So you have two ways to solve this problem using the dimensional analysis and the proportion. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Keep up the good work.